Good afternoon, our friends in the media, uh, sag after leadership, and the special guests who we have here with us today. And I especially want to thank our members and all of those who are gathered with us via live internet streaming. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> I just can't tell you how pleased I am to be here at this occasion. And uh, I want to start by thanking uh, the leaders behind me and our co-presidents, Roberta Reardon and Ken Howard. And it's particularly meaningful because in the room with us, we have an embodiment of the principle that our past is our future with our former presidents who are here, Bill Shallert, Melissa Gilbert, I thought I saw Melissa here. I don't know if she's still in the room. She's dancing. We have, we have two former presidents who sit as trustees of our plans who are there holding down the fort during meetings. Uh, right now, Barry Gordon and Richard Mazur, the leadership. <laughs> the leadership of the people in this room uh, who are watching this via live streaming, who are in offices around the nation. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's possible to understand what they give for free, that they give every day, every week, week in, week out, and as a staff. We simply could not do it without you, and we thank you. Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say how much. Today, we take the first step into a new world and a promising future. When I returned to the Screen Actors Guild in early 2009, I sent a note to the membership that referenced the 1937 story in the Los Angeles Examiner that once hung on the wall of my office when I'd served as general counsel, and now, not so ironically, graces the wall of our current general counsel. That story captured a moment of celebration when members cheered the culmination of an incredible effort to establish an organization that helped them unite and made them stronger by working together. Well, I believe that many years from now, there will be another story on another wall of a future employee of this great successor union. <laughs> and that story will capture the same evident joy on the faces of the people in this room and across the country. Our members, who I am so pleased to work for and proud to stand with, have reason to be excited. They can stand tall as a united force and as working professionals in the media and entertainment industries, which are growing and changing at lightning speeds. As we all know, these industries provide much more than a product. Movies, television shows, news broadcasts, and sound recordings. These are a vast cultural treasure offering meaningful and often intimate, personal experiences for millions of people around the world. That the work that our members do reaches beyond any particular moment and serves an essential purpose. Their work expands our understanding of ourselves and of society and strengthens our connection to what's happening outside of our doors and across the globe. And now SAG-AFTRA members are at the heart of this, together. As just one representative of the staff team that supports you, I want you to know how proud and excited we are to be a part of this moment. We have great faith in our members. We have great faith in you and in your collective power, and we are tremendously excited to commence the work of building this new union. We begin with a formidable foundation, the great traditions of both AFTRA and Screen Actors Guild, and while leading a great enterprise, 
through periods of dramatic change is never easy. We commit to you that we will strive for excellence in our day-to-day -day management of SAG-AFTRA's operations. We will have as our goal every day excellent member services and effective relationships with our sister unions and our industry partners. You have a great team of talented and committed individuals who are working for you, and we will work every day to make it easier for you, our members, to build a sustainable, professional life in this business. We are all honored to undertake this effort on behalf of our members. And to my colleagues and partners here at the podium, and to the staff of SAG-AFTRA, I thank you for your hard work, your talent, and your continued dedication to excellence on behalf of my members. Truly, I am proud and grateful to be with you here today. Thank you. Pam Greenwald. <laughs> I am also the Assistant National Executive Director in charge of communications for SAG-AFTRA. It's the first time I've ever said that. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> uh, we have some press uh, materials for you to grab on your way out, a press kit and some other things. See Donna or Kristen before you go. But right now we're going to take some questions. So um, anybody have a question? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan Handel with Hollywood Reporter. Jonathan Handel with Hollywood Reporter. Whoever cares the answer to this, and I know uh, uh, Pam played a little part, but of course the entire team did, which is the, uh, the vote count on the SAG side really was surprisingly high. Uh, the turnout was similar in 2003, about 55%, 54%, whatever, but uh, last time the vote count look was 58%. Can uh, you won with 75 percent uh, uh, just about five or six months ago? Uh, what accounts for the much larger uh, vote for the uh, hi, Jonathan. Uh, so I would have calculated it a little differently. Remember the contract vote in 2009, where we thought that that was going to be a very close to 50 percent. Mark, people wondered whether or not that would pass, and it turned out to be 78%. And that was also a high vote for a contract referenda. So if I had handicapped this, I would have started at 78. I think when you add that uh, and the, the direct and immediate impact that members have felt as a result of the split, that became particularly acute after uh, primetime began to shift uh, to AFTRA. And so now primetime is for both organizations. Um, I think members really responded to that, and I think it helped bring home what the future would look like if we were divided, and I think the members decided that they didn't like that future, and they preferred to be united. Does that mean that the folks that, um, that opposed merger, or who were the folks who helped drive that division, uh, deserve perhaps a uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, My answer to that is, uh, we have always had, uh, this is actually an important point, we have always had and we always will have a robust democracy where members have the right to express their opinion and that's what they were doing and we respect that fact. Yes. Yes. Great. Uh, right here, please. Yeah, I, uh, two questions. Uh, first, are my news going up now? <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, I got it. Um, uh, was talking about the specifics on the vote, but I know this has been going on for some time. What was the shift? What was really, in your opinion, the pivotal point where people thought, we better get this thing going and we better get it going now? Well, I'm sure that there are many, uh, many each of us has an answer to that, but I think all of us agree the industry shifted. 
And, and it, one of the shifts it made was to digital production. And because of digital production, contracts shifted between the two unions. And we've been talking about this for a long time. It's not just the shift in primetime television, but it's in cable, it's in new media, there's a, an explosion of platforms. And members began to understand that they needed to be together in a union rather than separated into two, because separated into two wasn't working out so well. Do you, do you also suppose that, uh, I mean, collectively now across the country, unions are taking a hit. Mm -hmm. They really are. <laughs> Labor's taking a yeah. hit. Uh, do you suppose it was also sort of a, kind of a protection for the future? They figured two or one union's better than two, I guess, in the There's no industry. question that watching what happened to public employees in Wisconsin and in other states across the country, what do you think, folks? Would, did that influence you? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him his dues are going down. If, he's a member. if you're a joint member, your dues are going down. <laughs> Anyone else? Questions? Oh, Dave McNary. Oh, thank you. Um, so, uh, good Lord. Um, Dave McNary with Variety. Um, I'm curious if the logo that's in back of you guys is going to be the new logo of the um, SAG-AFTRA, or has that been decided yet? Dave, you don't ask questions of the PR person at the press conference. <laughs> The SAG After One Union logo was developed for the education and outreach uh, effort over the past couple of months, and it is the transitional logo um, for the short term. Uh, the second question, follow-up question, is when, any, any idea when the first elections are going to be? Yes. yes. Uh, it will be uh, late spring, early summer of next year. Anybody else? Um, yeah. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey. Bob Strauss from the LA Daily News. So, following up on Dave's question, the new union is going to be called SAG Dash AFTRA? Yes. Okay. You have to say the dash, though. I, I will not. <laughs> Thank you. Bill, newspaper guy, I got to get it right in print. Okay. You're a print journalist. And, um, and there was a little too much yelling when uh, Ms. Reardon announced the percentage. It was 80 what? It's 86, 86% in AFTRA. Uh, Dominic Patton from Deadline. Um, I have a question in... Yeah, no, you do because you're on the live stream. I have a question in regards to some of the people who did not agree with the union being coming one. What would you say, Ken and Roberta, to people like Martin Sheen and Ed Harris who had concerns now that the union, now that it has passed? I think that um, I'm certainly going to hand this off to my fellow president, but I encourage them to stay involved and, and come in. You know, it's a big tent, and it's simply, it's like any democracy. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but it, this is an important moment for all of us, and I encourage them to stay in touch and stay involved. Ditto. Come join us. Ditto. Absolutely. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes. KPCC. Some of the concern of the opponents was around the health and pension benefits. Do you want to speak to any of that? Uh, are health and pen of, uh, pension benefits going to be stronger as one union or diluted? Oh, there's a question. Uh, yeah. Sure. Well, can I just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please, that's right. There you go. Uh, first of all, just a moment of logic. What do you think the answer is going to be? <laughs> I think they will be much stronger over time and have a great deal of reason to believe that. I think a lot of people, one of the things that helped us greatly was we were able to dispel a lot of uh, misinformation, a lot of misunderstanding that had gotten out there in, in the ether. One example, for example, uh, probably the, the simplest example, is that vested pensions are protect, are there, your vested pensions are protected by federal law, period. There is no other way. So the whole notion of you're going to lose your pension once they merge just isn't true. It's not a matter of opinion. And there are many other areas. Now, projecting the future, what's going to happen, I believe that whatever issues we face in terms of the economy, in terms of various numbers that change over which we can't control, in every instance that I know of, we are better off and stronger as a merged union in dealing with this future as it changes than we were at being divided. So the answer is uh, a resounding, uh, no, it won't dilute it. Yes, it will. But 
You would expect that, wouldn't you? Because it would be a strange to have the other answer for you. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense. Anyway. Anyone else? Any other questions? Yes, in the back. Now member together. Um, thank you. Um, I joined the union in 1987, and I'm now proud of the unity of both parties. Um, I am humbled by this day, and forever will remember this traveling uh, 3,000 miles from Baltimore to be here tonight. So. As a proud SAG AFTER member, what is our new unified, strong, vital union's message to producers, unified studios today? We are one voice. We are all about organizing. We are going to organize not just in the major cities, but in every city in this country. And we're ready to talk when they are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.